and as India emerges from multiple lockdowns, the pandemic has not only influenced business, but has entered each one of our homes. How do you manage sustaining performance and at the same time manage some of the leadership fatigue that's caused over the last 12 to 18 months? I think if we look at it in three parts, the first is health. It's perhaps the first time that the primary cause of an economic slowdown and even lockdown has been because of health, at least in my career. Until now, it has been a financial crisis. It's been a policy related issue. It's been something to do with the export markets, but never health. Yeah. And COVID-19 has challenged the normal. In fact, now there is no new normal. It will not be normal going forward. Workplaces have moved to the homes. Something that uh, we thought even 24 months ago was not possible. So there's a lot of possibility in the way technology has helped us, in the way we have, uh, in a sense, adapted ourselves. Employee health and may I say education as well, because our children have lost two grades by the time uh, vaccination will be done. But employee health, citizens health, the country's health will now gain top priority. And within the immediate vaccination is the top priority. So a lot of the GDP of a country, which perhaps should have been the case earlier, will now be spent on the public and private health system. The second is attribute is the need for empathy. And by empathy, we don't mean agreement, but that I or you will strive to understand another's point of view. So it is being sensitive to the fact that there will be challenges, whether it is personal, family or otherwise, the need for empathy as an attribute has gained uh, importance, perhaps like never before. The third is organization, agility, which relates to the fact that we've got to be looking forward and therefore organizations will now have to collapse and expand virtually as if it's not brick and mortar anyway. At the end of the day, the first is protecting the core and what we say, rock solid, but resilient. So we have to remain flexible. We've got to be future ready. We've got to learn. We've got to assess risks and we've got to identify new opportunities and embrace change. Fatigue at the end of the day is a no option for the leader. We talk of leadership loneliness. It's not an option. And therefore, the leader has to create opportunities for himself and herself to not get into that.